Hey guys, what's going on? So in this pouch, this Knott's pouch is a watch that I just recently purchased. I purchased it eight days ago and it just came in the mail not too long ago. And the great thing about this thing is that this gift wrap is an option that's free. I think it's a great little addition that it comes with a little pouch um, that is holding the package. So let's get rid of this ribbon here. All right. I'm always a fan of really nice packaging. I think uh, it, it taught, you know, it, it shows that the company is not only detailed about the merchandise, but what sits, you know, what the merchandise sits in, all right? So there's a sleeve here I'm gonna remove. And we got this knot box, very simple. Uh, it's got knot made in Japan and premium wrist wear only for yourself. Ro made in Japan. Uh, $10 shipping, which I thought is uh, more than fair. All right. Okay. All right. And this is the version I got the chronograph with an ivory dial and a orange seconds pin. All right. I also ordered a leather strap with this, and I'm willing to bet it's on the bottom somewhere. All right. We got. The warranty card, all right, warranty. I think the warranty is one year. Yeah, one year warranty period. Uh, instruction manual, okay. Us men don't need this, right? I'll put that aside. All right, and the strap, okay. All right, so this watch cost me $255 total. $211 for this piece here and another $44 with this piece here. Now the way this, this whole process works is um, Not says they have a very simplified distribution process which keeps the prices low. So uh, I'm not sure um, if $211 for a watch is low but it's all relative, right? Um, some people have very expensive watches that cost thousands and thousands of dollars and then you have me who who likes to collect watches which are more in the sub $300 range. And for me, I thought it was pretty reasonable. Now, when it comes to model and colors and design, there are lots of different styles on the website. Um, a good amount of them, the ones that I think are the most popular or the most um, appealing, a lot of those are sold out. And them being not being a micro brand watch company, they, I think they're having some trouble keeping up with demand. Now, the straps are not made by Knot. What they do is they partner with local Japanese leather, leather companies who make watch straps. And all this, all these straps are sourced right from Japan, which is pretty cool. So everything, um, I believe everything is pretty much um, sourced in Japan when it comes to manufacturing of the watch and of the uh, of the uh, the strap. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, like I would like honestly though, I don't know where the you know the glass is made in, but I'm assuming if they keep most processes in house, um, it's probably made some somewhere in uh, in their facilities. All right, so let's take a closer look at this watch. All right, so let's talk about the watch specifications. The case is a 39 millimeter case, nine millimeters thin for the profile, nine millimeters. It's nice, simple, and clean Bauhaus design. This thing has two counters. First counter is the minute counter, and then the other counter is the seconds counter. Now this minute counter only runs when you put it in the, the stopwatch or the chronograph setting. And then the orange needle here only also runs when you place it in the chronograph or stopwatch setting. Other than that, um, very nice and looking design. The, the face is really, really, really nice. The logo here, the not logo actually is not printed. It is um, sort of raised and um, has a little bit of a shimmer to it. So look, that looks very nice. Um, of course, you have these two buttons here for the chronograph. Top one will start the stopwatch function and then press it again to stop and then you press the bottom one all the way in to reset it. All right, so very simple there. 
Next, let's talk about the crown. Um, the crown seems is it's tiny. Even with my skinny fingers, I'm having a little bit of trouble. All right, so the crown has two positions. The first position is to change the date. All right, flip it to change the date. That's simple enough. All right, and then of course the second position is to get this. Oh man, hold on. Man, I'm having a little trouble with this. Man, I'm still not getting it. There we go. All right, so in the second position is to change the time. All right, so as you can see, um, the crown is on a smaller side. There is a not logo on the side of, of this watch, but man, it is really hard to, to pop out. All right, let's put that back in. All right, what else? The glass is sapphire crystal, which is great. Well, for a $211 watch, I do expect the glass to be higher quality than mineral glass. And when it comes to time accuracy, there's a monthly difference based on what the website says, plus minus 20 seconds. All right, let's flip this thing around. All right, so on the, on the back it says, it's water resistant to three ATMs, sapphire glass engraving, the type of stainless steel that's being used for the case, the model number for the watch, and the Q or the, it's not Q, I mean the not logo, all right? Um, I mean, overall, nothing too fancy about the back. And oh yeah, there's one thing here. Um, the, the back is not a, it's not a, you know, it's not a screw on or anything like that. It is a, you know, a pop out. So you will need a tool right here to pop out the back to expose the battery for replacement. Uh, but other than that, uh, very straightforward, very nice looking, very nice looking watch. And with that said, let's take a look at the straps. All right, let's talk about the straps. All right, so, let's, all right. So the straps are actually not made by Knot, but they're made by Knot Partners. They have a partnership program with leather makers throughout Japan who make these um, straps for them. And these are very, very nice straps. Uh, $44 for this strap here. This is the, what do you call it? The orange Himaji semi-grain leather strap made by the Kimoto Leather Factory. About 18 millimeters wide, a little bit uh, more on the slim side. And the buckle has that knot logo, and this is a silver clasp. Now the clasp here, um, there are many options you, you can get, different colors. So you can get a black, silver, gold, or rose gold for the strap. So you not only can you get different straps in different colors, but also further customize a strap with a different clasp color. So that's really, really neat. Uh, let's see, on the back here it says Himiji Leather. All right, and then let's look at this one here. Yep, this is the logo, nothing too fancy there. But yeah, I do like the color. All right, and it's got these two here, two, two, two loops here. And then, and then here's the color, color of the, the needle, I think uh, complements the color of the strap really, really well, and that's why I got it. Quality-wise, very soft right out of the box or right out of the packaging. I think this will be very easy to um, to condition. I think just wearing for a little bit will really, really get this nice and soft. Another added bonus of these straps are, of course, something I always appreciate: the quick release or the quick uh, release. Uh, what do you call it? the springs here? That's used to fasten the strap to the watch. I always appreciate these because it makes it much easier and you don't need a tool to uh, put these on a watch. All right, so let's put these on the watch and we'll see what it looks like completed. All right, so I'm gonna put on the first part, the first strap. So let's put this, this part on first. All right. And it's really easy. You find the, look for the first hole on the bottom here. Yep, there you go, I'm in. And then you depress the spring-loaded spring -loaded portion and you just, oh, just missed. And you just find it until it pops into the hole. All right, so there you go. Uh, wiggle it 
around just a little bit just to make sure uh, it's secure. All right, so that's the first one. And then I'll do the second one here. All right. Same thing. All right. Depress the lever. Let's see here. I'm trying to do this with the camera, camera viewfinder. So it might be a little difficult. Oh, there you go. See, that snap, that means it's in. All right, so there you go. This is what the watch looks like fully strapped. All right, so here's a quick wrist check. Obviously, it's on my wrist. Uh, I do have a skinny wrist, and it's nice that the lugs here um, does not overextend to the side of my wrist, so you just see the strap wrap around a little bit. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this watch. I think it looks great, it looks clean. I think it'll be great to wear to work, even under uh, a, a more formal attire, because um, I think just the way it looks, it's, it's really uh, suited for casual and formal wear. Right. And the one thing is, I'm sh in, the, in this video, you did see an up-close look on the, the counters and you can see the radio sunburst effect. Um, it's really hard to see those circular striations um, with the naked eye. So unless you really peep really close, you're not gonna tell, but you do see that, uh, that sunburst effect that, that is given off from the light. All right, well, thanks for watching. And occasionally I will review things that are not fuel related because I have so many other hobbies. And um, hopefully you do appreciate this. Um, always appreciate likes and subs. And as always, um, happy eating. And I will see you next video.